show you super fast some fun ways to use your affiliate links and some little helps and twiddly bits that I have for you. Do you love that word? Okay, so I made this page for you, Share Sense of the Resurrection, and I set up some tweets for you. And you can click to tweet. You just click that little button right there, and it will bring up the, tw the bring up Twitter and bring up that tweet. It's got a link in it already that will go straight to my site. So if you're an affiliate, you're going to want to put your affiliate link in there. But I've given you plenty of room and enough room for retweets. If you're on Buffer or Hootsuite, when it brings it up, it should have a Buffer or a Hootsuite button right there, and you can just click it straight to Buffer. So you could do a bunch of those at once. Just copy all mine in there, and you'll have them ready to go. I also made some graphics, and y'all, I'm not a graphic designer, but I did my best. My main point here was to just give you some more options besides the covers, and if you want any of the covers and any of the squares and buttons like this that you see here, those are all on oamanda.com slash affiliates. But these are just some extra things. My main point was that I wanted you to have some good sizes for Facebook and Pinterest. 403 by 403 is the best for Facebook, and for Pinterest is, you know, a longer one. And these are super big, so you can shrink them down to whatever size you want. But let me show you how good they look when you're going to pin them. See how nice that is instead of teeny tiny like that? So the square ones look good too, but I just like those big ones. Okay, and then I also gave you a few little post ideas. And I'm going to read them to you, and I know that's super lame to read something that's written here, but I'll try to do it quick. So just a few ideas. You could write a, here's what we're doing this Easter, and include some of your family traditions. This is super awesome for making your post sticky and you can link back to any of your old Easter themed posts. You could just write an experience um, about Lent or Easter or some kind of other tradition that you have. You could write some funny questions or insights that your kids have about Jesus' death and resurrection. I think it would be super awesome to do a post that's kind of a do-it-yourself crafty post with the printable flags from A Sense of the Resurrection, making them a little bit cuter than they are. You could write just some personal reflections or an Easter memory that's meaningful to you and how you make the story of Jesus' death and resurrection applicable to your own children, how you've done it in the past, or how someone taught you. And I think another good tie-in is if you are a Big Truth in the Tinsel fan and you posted about it, your, your readers are going to be familiar with it already. So you can say, hey, you know how much we love Truth in the Tinsel? It's the same idea, not the same thing, but, you know, just being intentional with this holiday. So those are just some post tips. I don't know. It might help you. And some of my favorite social media tips for getting your affiliate links out there is a hello bar. You see mine up here. When you get to my site, this little thing pops up. Hey, want to make Easter meaningful this year? Get your Sense of the Resurrection ebook now, and it will go here. That's helpful for people who are coming off of Pinterest and Google who are going to like a recipe or some weird thing that I have, a birthday party post, and they're never going to, you know, it's not like they know me or are looking for it. And they'll see that and say, hmm, that sounds good. You could also make a Jesus centered Easter whatever Pinterest board and pin the good ideas that you find and of course your sense of the resurrection pins and then what's fun is that you can always tweet this board out. I get follows on this board every week during the whole year so that's a good one. You could also use your newsletter to introduce a sense of the resurrection if you don't want it to fill up your blog you know feed and last year I did a really cool thing called a news blast and with Mad Mimi it's really easy Someone signs up for it, and they get however many you want. I did 10, so they would get one email a day. You could make it go every other day. You could make it go every two weeks or whatever. And you could just set it up for three, three posts instead of 10, how I did it. But it was basically all it was was these little bitty emails, and I would talk about some of our favorite Easter traditions, pointing them back to my blog. And then I would do like a little mini mini devotion and that's all so you can see how super short it was and every day they would get something and p.s. I made a bazillion dollars on Amazon last year by doing that because I was always linking to my favorite books for Easter so you could do something like that getting people to your your Easter post or just your Easter ideas and then um, make sure you're putting sense of the resurrection in there and you could make some money that way you could also do a giveaway. You could do something like Rafflecopter, maybe, if you're familiar with Rafflecopter. Sorry, there's not a picture here. You would think there would be one on their website. But you can, you know, have, you know what this is. You, you do a giveaway, and people can enter by following you on Facebook, following you on Instagram, you know, tweeting something out. But you could also do it if they buy the book, then they are entered to win whatever, some Easter-y thing that you have, or you can give away the book, too. 
Um, and then, like I said, schedule some weekly Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and Google Plus updates using just simple stuff. Hey, since the resurrection, Easter's coming in two weeks. And just get those done. You won't even have to think about them anymore. Of course, use the hashtag since the resurrection and feel free to tag me at oamanda on Twitter and Instagram. And when you post on your blog, make sure to let me know and I will pin it to my since the resurrection board. And if you have any other fun ideas or want to interview me or do a giveaway or whatever you want, please, you know, tweet me or email me and let me know and I'd love to do something with you. So I hope that helps. I hope promoting Sense of the Resurrection is beneficial for you and I'm praying that the people who get it and buy it and use it will be blessed this year. So thank you for promoting it and thank you for being a part of it with me.